There's a reason that we tell stories about heroes, not just superheroes, but human heroes, people who do heroic things in dangerous situations. There's a reason that even when we disagree on everything else as Americans, we agree on the heroism and the beauty of the story of the heroism of a man like Chesley Sully Sullenberger, or of Wesley Autry, the subway hero, or of the heroes who have received the Medal of Honor in the United States military. I think that we are wired to accept those stories and pass on those stories about heroes, about heroic acts, because we need to teach ourselves that kind of behavior. In an almost evolutionary sense, it's a way for us to pass on and reinforce what is good and brave to do, even if our instincts might tell us not to do it. And so with everybody in the country following the news in Arizona as it unfolded this weekend, how many people were drawn to this story? How many people read aloud this story to their family or their friends when it was posted by the Arizona Republic? How many people sent this on as the first hero emerged in this story? Daniel Hernandez had been Congresswoman Gabriel Gifford's intern for five days when she was shot Saturday outside Tucson. The junior at the University of Arizona was helping check people in at the Congress on Your Corner event when he heard gunfire. He was about 30 feet from the Congresswoman when the shots began he ran toward them. I don't even know if the gunfire, I, didn't, I don't even know if the gunfire had stopped, he said Saturday night as he kept a vigil at the University Medical Center cafeteria. When the shots began that morning, he saw many people lying on the ground, including a young girl. Some were bleeding. Hernandez said he moved from person to person, checking pulses, first the neck, then the wrist, he said. One man was already dead. Then he saw Gifford. She had fallen and was lying contorted on the sidewalk. She was bleeding. Using his hand, Hernandez applied pressure to the entry wound on her forehead. He pulled her into his lap, holding her upright against him so she wouldn't choke on her own blood. Giffords was conscious but quiet. Ron Barber, Giffords district director, was next to her. Hernandez told a bystander how to apply pressure to one of Barber's wounds. Barber told Hernandez, make sure you stay with Gabby, make sure you help Gabby. Hernandez used his hand to apply pressure until someone from inside Safeway brought him clean smocks from the meat department. He used them to apply pressure on the entrance wound, unaware there was an exit wound. He never let go of her. He stayed with Giffords until paramedics arrived. They strapped her to a board and loaded her into an ambulance. Hernandez climbed in with her. On the ride to the hospital, he held her hand. She squeezed his back. The fact that Hernandez was, nearly, was nearby and able to react quickly probably saved Gifford's life, said State Representative Matt Hines, Democrat of Tucson and a hospital physician. Eight hours after the shooting, Hernandez stood with Gifford's friends and staff and told them what had happened. The tall, strong 20-year-old said, of course you're afraid, you just kind of have to do what you can. You just have to be calm and collected, he said. You do no good to anyone if you have a breakdown. It was probably not the best idea to run toward the gunshots, but people needed help. That story was posted by reporters Jamie Rose and Mary Jo Pitzel at the website of the Arizona Republic on midnight on Saturday night. We tell stories about heroism to teach ourselves how to act heroically, to teach ourselves what we all wish we would be strong and calm enough to do if we're ever, God forbid, faced with the same situation. Daniel Hernandez joins us next. I'm very happy to say that the interview tonight is with the young man who is being credited with saving Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's life by offering critical first aid on scene at the shooting at considerable danger to himself. He joins us tonight from Phoenix, where the governor of his state honored him during her State of the State address this afternoon at the state capitol. Daniel Hernandez, thank you very much for joining us, sir. It's really nice to have you here on the show. Thank you for having me, Rachel. I know you were about 30 feet away from the Congresswoman when the bullets um, started firing on Saturday morning. Can, can you explain what, what moved you to run toward the danger? Um, because of some of the things that had happened earlier in the year, um, one of which was during a campaign stop, someone showed up to a debate and there was a gun that fell. And also her congressional office door in Tucson um, was shot at in either March or April of this last year. Um, I, I was always cognizant that the congresswoman um, would likely be a target, as all public officials are. Um, so when I heard the gunshots and I heard someone yell gun, um, my first concern was making sure that the congresswoman and those who would likely be around her um, would be okay. As I understand it, um, you went through a, you, you've been through a certified nursing assistant program as well as a phlebotomy program uh, earlier in your life. H had, you, had you ever had any experience, any cause to apply first aid in a critical, critical situation like this before? No, this was the first time I ever used any of the skills that I had to do triage or first aid. I think the reason that, um, 
The reason that your story is not just becoming part of this story, but people are now very interested in you and people are telling your story as a way of helping each other make sense of what happened is because you, at a time of chaos, remained calm and were able to be incredibly technically effective uh, in those extraordinary, horrible circumstances. Are you an ice water in your veins kind of guy regularly? Do you react to stress with unusual calm? Um, yeah. Um to be quite frank, I, I think some of my fault, some of my friends would fault me with sometimes being um, too detached to a fault um, when I when I'm trying to handle with stressful situations. What do you want to do um, later in your life? What's your goal career-wise? Um, I, I don't know. I'm still only 20, and I'm still only a junior at the University of Arizona. Um, but the events that happened on Saturday make me want to continue something in public service, whether that's a nonprofit or working for a government agency. I don't know. Even the, um, the, the foresight to say you don't know, you're only 20, implies that you're doing much better than most people are at age 20 in terms of seeing the way things are going to unfold for them. Um, Daniel, I know, you, I know you started the internship a week ago. You've worked with Congresswoman Giffords before, uh, in 2008, again in 2010. What, what made you want to volunteer for her specifically? Um, in 2008, I originally started with the Hillary Clinton campaign. Um, once she didn't make it past the primaries, I started looking for other campaigns of people whom I respected. And Gabrielle Giffords was one of the people whom I respected most in the country um, just because of the record she had. Youngest woman elected to the Arizona State Senate. Um, her positions on a lot of the issues, we were, we were similar. But also just meeting her, um, she is the warmest person you will ever meet. She is extremely approachable. One of the things that I always remember is when people would offer her a handshake. She says, I don't do handshakes, honey. I do, I do hugs. Um, so she's just a kind and warm individual, and that's what drew me to her. In terms of the way the country has responded to this trauma, um, you obviously have a degree of optimism about this country that's driving your interest uh, in public service and just the way you're talking about working with a congresswoman. Are you proud of the way the country has responded uh, to this event? Do you feel like we're treating it um, appropriately and with the, 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 the tone and the respect and the seriousness it deserves? I think so completely. Um, I think this is one of the type of events where it's not only something that affects Tucsonans, it's not something that just affects Arizonans, it's something that affects all Americans. So it, it's very satisfying to see everyone kind of come together, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of their beliefs, um, kind of come behind not just the congresswoman, but all the, the victims who suffered on this day. Daniel Hernandez, political science major at the University of Arizona, real life American hero. Um, thank you for what you did. Uh, you have been through a tremendous trauma yourself. Take good care of yourself. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks.